So now in this video, we have the circuit uh, wired so that when it gets bright enough, the output goes high. My lamp is at its lowest setting uh, right there, um, but uh, it's high. I can force it low with the reset pin, but as soon as I let go, again, it's bright enough that the output is going to be high. And so I turn the light off, and there we go. So, you know, this could be used maybe like as an alarm, like uh, the light came on. And um, somebody turn the light on, alarm goes off, they, they try turning it off, um, but it doesn't matter. And uh, you come up, and uh, once the light's off, you hit the reset switch, you know, um, you know, maybe something like that. Um, but in any case, we have the 555 timer that this circuit is based on, and I have a pin 6, which is still, a power supply is 5 volts. Um, we got about 8 milliamps approximately when uh, the output is high. And now the output is low, it's about 5 milliamps of a current. And we will uh, come back to the circuit right there. So, yeah, uh, here you should be able to see that, uh, you know, I show this a lot in my videos too. We have, uh, when the output is low, blue LED lights up, connects to ground pretty good uh, right there, but we got a higher value resistor, so current's still lower. It doesn't uh, connect when the output is high to the positive supply as good, as it does ground you actually lose a, at least a volt um, but we have a lower value resistor for the red LED red LEDs also are not as bright at the same current as blue LEDs so we want to get some extra current now we're not using pin 6 for whatever reason I made this uh, diagram a long time ago and uh, obviously I wanted to point out that the reset pin is uh, the uh, dominant input so pin six, when it gets a high enough uh, voltage, two thirds or more of the supply voltage, as long as you don't modify it with pin five, then it sets the output low. So you get a high enough voltage, it sets the output low. When you give it a low enough voltage, it doesn't do anything. It's just waiting for that higher voltage. And um, so um, we'll come back to the reset pin. The set pin is the opposite. It's waiting for one third or less of the supply voltage. So we have 10K um, right there, and then a light pin resistor. This is a pull-up resistor, so it's keeping the voltage high, and um, you know higher than one-third of the supply voltage, uh, best that it can, and um, telling pin 2 not to do anything. But we also have the light-dependent resistor. You get enough light on it, it conducts better. So bright light equals high output. It conducts better. Uh, the voltage actually lowers. It connects to ground better. And uh, when it drops below one third supply voltage, because it's a voltage divider right there, then it will set the output high. Um, if uh, we wired up six, we could like bounce it back and forth um, as the light goes up and down. But instead, I did the reset. And uh, so, uh, reset uh, pin, I think you gotta get uh, like less than half of a volt when you're working with five volts from you know relatively recent uh, videos. But in any case, we have a pull-up resistor. It's keeping a high input to 4, which uh, tells it not to do anything. We get 0 volts, and then it's going to force the output low, even if pin 2 wants to set the output high. This is the uh, dominant one. So you can see that even with my lamp at the lowest setting, and any higher uh, setting will have the same effect right there. Output's going to be high until we uh, press the uh, button. And this doesn't connect into the board uh, perfectly good. And also we got switch bones. Um, but in any case, um, there you can see. I can hold it down and it will stay low. But uh, once we get it, so pin 2 is, uh, it's not uh, setting the output high. The output's just still high because it hasn't been set low yet. Once I set it low, either by giving a high enough voltage to pin 6 or a low enough voltage to uh, pin 4, then it sets the output low and the output's gonna stay low because it's dark enough. We get it bright enough. Now pin two set the output high because uh, we're, we're not resetting. So in any case, um, just a variation of the uh, flip-flop uh, basically. Uh, pin two can set the output high. Uh, pin four then can uh, set the output low which is a uh, flip-flop. Um, you could also use uh, pins two and six. Uh, but pin 4 is the uh, dominant. Now pin uh, 2, I believe, this is an NE555. There's uh, different ones that you could use. Um, 
Pin 2, I believe, is dominant over 6 if you're using the NE or the Micro A555. But I've read uh, online recently there's other uh, versions of the 555 where pin 6 is dominant over 2. Um, so just be aware of that. Uh, but I'm pretty sure 2 is dominant over 6 in this case. But uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.